All right, so this example is a little bit um, similar, but it's a little bit different, okay? So in this case, we've got something outside of a bracket multiplying in, and we've got x's on both sides of the equation. So that's a little bit tricky and something we've got to deal with, um, deal with in this problem. Now, to approach this problem, the first thing that we need to do is to deal with those brackets. So I think this is a lot easier if we apply the distributive law to remove those brackets. I don't want to have the four and the three at the front. It looks like it'll be easier. So what's going on there is we've got a multiplication occurring between the four and this bracket and the three in this bracket. So that can be rewritten. It's equivalent to saying four times two x plus four times five equals three times x plus three times five. Now, that looks pretty gross still, so I'm gonna make this a little bit simpler. 8x plus 20 equals 3x plus 15. So I've just solved each one of those, so now it looks a lot nicer. Now at this point of the problem, I can see that I've got x's on both sides. It looks very similar to the problem that we've just done. We're solving the linear equation. But it's a little bit different as we've got x's on both sides. So the first thing I like to do is get all my x's on one side on the top. Don't have any fractions here, so I have to worry about getting it to the top. I've just got to worry about getting it to one side. Now, at this point, I can put it on the left-hand side or the right-hand side, but I always like to look at the side with the largest positive value, so in this case it's 8x, and take everything to that side. So to get rid of the 3x, because I want to get rid of the 3x on this side, I subtract 3x from both sides. I don't move it, I subtract 3x from this side, I subtract 3x from this side. The 3x is cancelled on the right hand side. And now I've got 8x, 8x minus 3x plus 20 equals 15. That can be written as 5x, 8 minus 3, collecting like terms. 5x plus 20 equals 15. Now this looks very similar to the problem that we just did. We've got a multiplication and an addition, and I want to get my x by itself on one side of the equation. So the first thing I do according to reverse BOMDAS is attack that 20. So to get rid of the 20, I subtract 20 from both sides. And I'm trying to use the same pen. So I subtract 20 from this side, and I subtract 20 from this side. What I'm left with now is the 20s on the right-hand side cancel, and I'm left with 5x equals negative 5. Now, I've got a multiplication left here. So to attack this multiplication, I apply the opposite operation of multiplication, which is divide 5. So to both sides, I divide 5. I'm left with the 5's cancelling on the right hand side, x, equals negative 5 over 5, which equals negative 1. So my value of x should be negative 1, but I don't know if I've made an error. So how do I check if I've made an error? Well, what I do is I get my value, negative 1, and I sub back into my original equation. Now this is a little bit different. Because I've got x's on both sides of the original equation, what I want to do is just put the value in, sub negative 1 in, and see if that, if the left hand side equals the right hand side. So what I've got is 4 times 2, sorry, 4 times 2 times negative 1 plus 5, all in brackets, equals 3 times negative 1 plus 5. You can do this in the blue below. So I'm going to simplify this bracket first, so 4, negative 2, plus 5, equals 3, times negative 4. I can actually write that straight up as times, there's nothing else going on. So I've got negative 12, equals 4, times negative 3. Negative 12, equals negative 12, which means, let's do it over here, left hand side equals the right hand side therefore x equals negative 1 so I've checked that value it's all good if I had made a mistake like I might have in the previous video 
when I didn't put my one, at this point here, that's when I found that out. So by checking, I can identify any errors that I've made um, and go back and fix them up very quickly. Okay, so it's really important that we understand the value of substitution um, and how to check our values at the end. It's a really important skill. Um, it also unlocks some of the skills that we're going to need later on with algebra.